Hi there, my name's Andrew, one of the family of medical students. Can I just confirm your name and date of birth, please? Uh, Dan Page, my date of birth, the 1st of the 1st, 1990. Nice to meet you, Dan. Today I've been asked to examine your heart, and um, this will just involve me inspecting from the end of the bed, then moving in closer and having a look at the chest, mm. feeling the chest and having a listen to your chest as well. Would that be okay? That'd be fine, yeah. All right. Are you in any pain at all at the moment? Not currently, no. Okay. Dan, could I just ask you to undress from the waist upwards for me, okay. uh, and then we'll start the examination. Of course. I'm just going to start with some inspection from the end of the bed. Dan, I'm going to start by having a look at your hands. Could you lift them up for me? Thank you. That's great. Could you turn them over for me, palms to the ceiling? Fantastic. Come back over. I'm just going to squeeze on a fingertip, okay? That's great. While your hands are there, I'm going to feel your pulse. And the same on the other side. That's great. And I'm going to feel the pulse in your elbow and then the pulse at your neck as well. Okay. And I like to feel the pulse and lift your arm quite quickly. Do you have any pain in your shoulder at all? No, not currently. Okay. Do you let me know if you have any pain? Thank you. Can you turn your head away from me? Turn your head slightly towards me. Great. And now I'd like to measure your blood pressure. Now I'm now going to look at your neck. What I'd like you to do is rest your head back and turn your head to the left hand side for me. Do you have any pain in your tummy? No. Do you mind if I press on your tummy? No. That's fine, thank you. Dan, could you just pull down on your lower eyelid for me? That's great. If you could just open your mouth for me and now lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Dan, I'm now going to more closely inspect your chest. Okay. Can you just lift your right arm up for me? Hand back down, that's great. And the same on the other side. That's fine. Now I'm going to feel your heartbeat, okay. I'm going to lay my hand flat on your chest. Dan, I'm now going to listen to your heart. And at the same time, I'm going to feel the pulse in your neck, okay? Okay. Could you roll onto your left hand side for me, Dan? What I'd like you to do is take a deep breath in and then out and hold it there. I'm 
don't breathe normally. If you could just sit forward for me. And again, Dan, take a deep breath in and out and hold it there. Fantastic, I'm just gonna to listen to your neck now. Again, a deep breath in and then out and hold it there. Fine, you can breathe normally for me. I'm just gonna to listen to your back. Finish my examination. I'd like to look at your ankles. Would that be okay? That's fine. That's the examination finished, Dan. And um, you're very welcome to get dressed now and make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Thank you. In summary, I saw Dan, a 24-year-old male, who from the end of the bed was comfortable. He demonstrated no stigmata of cardiac disease. On palpation of the chest, there was no heaves or thrills. And on auscultation, there was normal first and second heart sounds with no added sounds. This was a normal cardiovascular examination. For completeness, I'd like to do a full peripheral vascular exam with examination of all the pulses. I'd like to see a routine 12 lead ECG, fundoscopy, urine dipstick, and a bedside blood glucose.